Now, former Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull has uh, scored an own goal. Uh, if you look at this post about nuclear energy, uh, he is very much pro-renewables, we know that, and he previously has called Peter Dutton's nuclear push bonkers. But he posted this on X. He said, nuclear reactors do not firm up renewables. Solar and wind are intermittent, depending on sunshine or wind to make electricity, but we have them in great abundance. To firm them, we need flexible, dispatchable sources of zero emission energy, such as uh, pumped hydro, batteries or green hydrogen. Nuclear reactors cannot turn on and off ramp up and down like hydro or batteries can. Nuclear <laughs> reactors generate continuously. Oh, this rerun of the climate wars is yet another example of history repeating itself, first as tragedy and then, as we see today, as farce. Pru has said the quiet bit out loud there. Nuclear reactors generate continuously. They provide reliable, continuous energy, which makes renewables obsolete. Maybe he'd raided his wine cellar when he went, wrote this uh, this tweet. It's so bizarre, <laughs> as you say. I'm not suggesting that. <laughs> no, well, maybe not. But, I mean, he clearly has uh, got something weird going on in his brain about this because, you know, it is a go own goal. We know that his his prize, Snowy 2, uh, was, uh, you know, is a total disaster. We have it, what, overblown by... $10 billion and counting, and it's so late in terms of uh, when it was supposed to be in action. So if we're relying on his hydrogen energy and his other, you know, brain trusts, well, then we're in trouble, aren't we? And nuclear power is the, the best option, and we all know that. Wind and solar is not going to be a reliable source of uh, energy for us, and we need to go for the, the zero net emissions of nuclear. It's as simple as that. It is, but there are many people who've uh, invested heavily in renewables who would be very much against that option mm -hmm. being explored further.